Hey, what's happening? What's happening? They talk about intensity while training and going all out. Every single time you train, go to the max, leave the gym, leave the, the track, leave your workout space completely spent so you gave 100%. I will be devil's advocate against something like that. How? Well, here's the story. You cannot go all out all the time, especially if you're approaching 40 or maybe 50 or maybe 60 in my case. You have to go and temper your workouts accordingly depending on how you feel, depending on how much energy you have that particular day, depending on many things, your injuries that you're working around, your food intake for that day. Many situations require a different approach and you gotta be smart enough to make that stance and not worry about looking like some kind of a slacker. You're not a slacker, you're intelligent. You're actually going about your business in a rather intelligent way, which is pretty unheard of in 2021. We don't think things out very easily. We kind of just go in there head first, not even caring what the outcome is going to be. As long as we went 100% balls to the wall, can I say that? I just did. You know, there's a reason why the uh, athletes sit out every third or fourth game or every fifth game sometime. They need a rest. Recuperation time is as important as your workout, if not more. And the food you take in is probably more important than the actual working out. Is that a strange thing to wrap your, 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 your brain around? Probably, probably, but I, I, I ask you this. When you eat poorly, don't you feel it? Don't you immediately feel not quite right? You feel sluggish? You feel heavy, your legs are heavy, your, your brain is foggy. That fuel you put in your body is so immensely important as to how your workout's going to go and as to how your life is going to go, if I may be so bold. Now, if you want to get down to uh, brass tacks on this, try the intermittent fasting that we talked about earlier. If you want to give your digestive process a break, a well-needed break, try the intermittent fasting. Try an eating window throughout the day. My recommendation is to begin your eating round about noon, round about one. That means, now, now get ready, this is radical, you will skip breakfast. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. The, the, the heavens didn't come down. Nobody came down on me when I made that radical statement. Everything remained the way it was before. And I was okay because it's a good idea. It is a good idea to just let that digestive system rest for a while. Make your eating window between noon, I'll, I'll, I'll go easy on you, noon and seven, and then stop. Now you can hydrate. You can drink, I'm not talking about anything harsh, I'm not talking beer and wine, I'm talking about water, water, water. And in fact, I drink nothing, more or less nothing but water. I don't indulge in fruit juices, I'm not drinking soda, except for a sip here and there, because I have a bad influence in my life as far as the soda goes, and she knows who she is. <laughs> but a few sips here and there won't, won't hurt, you know, anything done in slight moderation is okay but frankly water is life I, found, I feel like a preacher man water is life and that's all you need but getting back to that eating window stop eating after seven o'clock don't eat before 12 go to bed at a decent hour turn off the TV turn off the computer whatever you're into turn off and go to sleep because as I mentioned at the top of the video your recuperation is just, if not more so, important as you're working out, as you're eating, as everything that goes into a fit body, a healthy mind, so on and so forth, at the risk of sounding like a medical guide or a medical book. Remember those medical books that were this thick? Well, all that knowledge is right here. So tune in to Ralph Romeo Fitness and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And do me a favor, please. Just subscribe and follow me every day. I'll have something new for you, sometimes radical, sometimes more conservative, depending on the day. 
I promise you. And check me out on WPAT930AM.com in the evenings, 8 p.m. Eastern, if you want to hear something different from me. Thanks so much. See you soon.